Hey everybody, I am out on the road filming another episode of Shondo on the Go. And I'm at a nondescript office building in Massachusetts. And behind me is where Citrix partner HPE works on a hyper-converged appliance called SimpliVity. Not only does this condense all the physical layers of a traditional virtual infrastructure into a single appliance, but it automates the creation of the Citrix Cloud Connector. So it makes virtual environments as easy as one, two, three, and a lot easier than the legacy infrastructures I used to work on. Here we go in Massachusetts, gonna get a couple of donkeys, park the car and get inside. All right, bye. Now, Prashanta, we were just in the lab. Mm -hmm. We were unboxing an HPE SimpliVity appliance. Mm -hmm. Is that fair to say? You can say we were unboxing an HPE SimpliVity server. Okay. Uh, and then we installed both uh, two of the servers into the racks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we used Deployment Manager to deploy those servers with uh, the SimpliVity software and all, the, all other pieces that are needed to make it a hyper-converged uh, product. What is hyper-converged? Sure, so if you think about a traditional IT stack, right? you had servers, you had storage, you had some networking switches, you had backup uh, uh, softwares, you had van optimizers, a bunch of different components. What happened was uh, it was very difficult to figure out which components interrupt with each other and just from a purchasing buying standpoint, it was a lot to manage and very expensive. Um, and I was one of those guys back in the day mm -hmm when we were creating VDI yeah. and we were defining it as a concept, we would go out and we would create these multi-layered, seven layers of VDI architecture. Mm -hmm. From network storage, compute, hypervisor, uh, all the way up to the stack, to the applications and even the user persona mm -hmm. or the user settings. And they were all different hardware vendors that we tried to mash together into a array, but we made it so complex that companies had a tough time getting some of this complex architecture off the ground. Definitely, and then as I was mentioning the different components of so storage, backup software, deduplication, compression, uh, van optimizers, etc. All those components, all those services are packaged into the uh, SimpliVity server. So if you think about it, right, uh, Citrix is simplifying management on the uh, application side, mm. we have simplified management on the infrastructure side and now when you bring both of these together it's just even more simplistic management and as you said that's what gives it the appliance feel yeah. which is why we are part of the Citrix uh, workspace appliance program now with this integration that we have created for SimpliVity and Citrix Cloud which I'll talk through uh, soon. Okay so now before we get into that though I need to get you know, the business side of the of the episode out of the way, mm -hmm. what's the primary use case for HPE SimpliVity mm -hmm. with the Citrix Cloud Connector, would you say? So, uh, we would expect any customer trying to uh, host desktops and applications to be able to use Citrix Cloud. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's an option for customers to have their management hosted in the cloud mm -hmm. if they don't want to host it on-prem. Now, if you are a customer who has multiple sites and you are uh, you have multiple users distributed everywhere and you're trying to create these uh, desktop or applications for them to use, then uh, having Citrix Cloud uh, point to a SimpliVity cluster, have it uh, orchestrated, set up with desktops applications is uh, what you would need. And this will actually get you up and running with applications and desktops in probably uh, a couple of hours. Okay. So I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to install one deployment manager to show you how the UI looks. And then we will be using the same deployment manager to set up yeah. okay. security systems. Then deployment manager puts an icon on the desktop. Nice little shortcut. Mm -hmm. So SimpliVity obviously got its name from Simplicity. Well, uh, it's the mission of the company to simplify IT. Mm -hmm. So simplifying IT. SimpliVity. Okay. It's Where's the V come from, though? <laughs> uh, Virtualization? Virtual. Yes. Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah. 
Now, there are multiple ways you can actually deploy these supplementary systems. You can actually go through the wizard, enter details about uh, the, the IP networking and so on. The, the cool part about deployment manager is that after you run through one of the deployments, it lets you save mm -hmm. the contents of the deployment as a yeah. config file. So that the next time you try to do it, you can just use that config file. If you need to tweak something here and there, okay. you can do it through the wizard. And you can enter variables in that config file? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, what are we looking at? Is there any plugin or anything that we have to install? Yes. Where we, what's step number so, three? So one of the value props of Simplivity is that uh, we have embedded our user interface directly into the hypervisor management interface. As I said earlier, we support two hypervisors. One is uh, VMware For vSphere now, two. and uh, Hyper-V. Yep. So what we've done is the Simplivity management interface is embedded into VMware vCenter web client and then uh, into System Center Virtual Machine Manager for the Hyper-V product. Okay. So all you have to do is click on the Simplivity Federation icon on the uh, home screen mm -hmm. and then that will get you into the Simplivity uh, uh, the simplicity environment. All right, so we've got the topology here. Mm -hmm. We're actually in the vSphere web client that Simplicity has plugged into, mm -hmm. correct? Okay, so now what would we do here and why are we here? We will register the plugin uh, that we have created for mm -hmm. Citrix Cloud. And to register the plugin, you basically follow the normal methods that have been posted by uh, VMware to register any plugin that you've created. Okay. So nothing uh, fancy, just follow the same protocol that uh, VMware provides and you will have your plugin shown up within uh, vSphere Web Client. So now, as the next step, what we'll do is we will click and launch the plugin. And uh, in the plugin view, what happens is there's a configuration file through which all the details about the configuration uh, is uh, pulled in. So this is uh, just static information which is not going to change for any of the simplicity clusters that you're connecting to Citrix Cloud. So instead of having to type it again and again, you can just store it in that config file. As you can see, uh, you selected the simplicity cluster. Yep. We have provided a name for the resource location. In uh, Citrix Cloud. In Citrix Cloud, yes. Yeah. And we've given a name for the Cloud Connector VM. You're gonna say CCVM1. Then we're gonna do the same thing for, just for high availability, we wanna have two. So we say CCVM2, administrator, password will be what we can use. And then the host, I'm gonna put it on the second host because the first one is on the first host. So you just wanna have high availability, redundancy. Right. Yeah, and then you add VM, and then you click configure and then uh, you wait for a few minutes, uh, about five to 10 minutes, and you'll then log into your Citrix Cloud Portal, and then you should see the resource location with the Cloud Connector VMs in them. And then we look at uh, we look at the resource locations, and we see that a new re resource location has been created based on what we specified. Yep. And then there are two Cloud Connector VMs. CC two Cloud VM1, Connectors, CC fault VM2. tolerance, always tolerance, fault yes. tolerance. So that means even if you lose one node with yep. uh, the Cloud Connector VM on it, you still have the second node and you'll still be able to connect to Citrix Cloud. Okay, so from here, mm -hmm. we can actually get into Citrix World. Yes. And we could just start with Citrix Director. So even though this is Citrix Cloud, this is mm -hmm. the management backend, the management plane being hosted in a cloud subscription model, mm -hmm. I mean, the look, the feel, the activity, the actions is all what you're used to in Citrix Studio, Citrix Director, it's all the same. So what Prashanto uh, is doing now, even though we have the HPE SimpliVity uh, hyper-converged infrastructure server, uh, AKA appliance, snapped into the rack and we installed the plugin, we executed the plugin, uh, we launched it, and now Citrix subscription model Mm -hmm. Now we just go through and rec create our... Yeah, we'll create a machine catalog, yep. we'll uh, create a delivery group, and then uh, we'll ensure that the... Actually, what, what we'll do is from the machine catalog, we'll just ensure that the VM is created uh, within vCenter, mm -hmm. and then we create a delivery group to map to the machine catalog and offer the desktops and applications. And then launch a virtual desktop. Yeah. What am I looking at for scale on one uh, 
server on one blade as far as number of desktops. I know it's a subjective question. Yeah. And every customer and every prospect asks the question, mm -hmm. how many users can I get on a server? So depending upon uh, the type of profile that you're trying to use, you can go anywhere from like, let's say 1,000 to 3,000 users, right? The, the interesting and the critical part to note is that so because SimpliVity is a hyper-converged appliance, you can actually scale linearly by just adding boxes, yeah. uh, more SimpliVity servers to the existing cluster. However, we have a pretty cool feature where you can scale your compute and memory resources without actually scaling your storage. Okay. So if you think about any user computing, which is the resource that is most uh, highly hit or which is uh, which, which resource is most constrained? Mm -hmm. It is generally compute, right? Memory yep. and CPU. Right. So now, with uh, SimpliVity's uh, compute node feature, you can actually take any existing server connected to the SimpliVity cluster, and you can leverage the compute resources from that server. Okay. Okay. So now, instead of having to spend all your money in buying a hyperconverged box when you're actually just looking for more compute, mm -hmm can actually be more cost effective and just use that compute node to add more compute. Are we looking at like a Lego model? I'm just snapping in modular bricks yeah, along the way? exactly. If so, you need more compute, add a vertical compute block. If you need more storage compute networking, add yeah. a horizontal simplicity box. So depending upon what you want to do as a customer, there are there's a plethora of options. Uh, what we've done is we are providing the Citrix plugins free of cost. They are hosted on GitHub. Uh, there are two repositories. One is for the uh, VMware plugin, one is for the Hyper-V plugin. Depending upon the platform that you're using and the hypervisor you're invested in, you can choose any of those plugins. Install it in your environment. Even if you're an existing customer, you can still install it in your environment and connect to Citrix Cloud within minutes and deploy apps and desktops. If I want to learn more mm -hmm. about HPE SimpliVity, mm -hmm. Citrix Workspace Appliance, where am I going? Go to Google, type in CWA, HP SimpliVity, you'll get the first, the first hit should be the page where you get more information. And I'm afraid that's going to do it for us on this episode of Shondo on the Go. I'm your host, Sean Donahue. I want to extend a huge thanks to HPE SimpliVity, Citrix partner uh, in uh, all regards, but also in the Citrix Workspace Appliance Program, and especially subject matter expert, Prashanto Kochavara. I'm saying it Italian, but it's not Italian. <laughs> <People> <laughs> Prashanto, thanks Thank buddy. You. I Thank appreciate you. it. Excellent. All right, everybody, tune in next time. Uh, and we will talk more Citrix and Alliance Partner Solutions. And for that, we're out of here. Bye-bye.